Uh, we're talking Landfill 101, do's and don'ts when it comes to dealing with things you may be thinking that you can just take to the landfill. Rick Anweiler, leader of Landfill Operations with the City of Calgary, is with us this morning um, talking about some of the do's and don'ts. And, and right off the top, uh, the number one thing that you get at landfills that is not allowed to go into city landfills is what? I would say oxygen selling tanks are probably one of the biggest things that we from welders, receive right? from welders. Yes, yeah. we also uh, do not take radioactive waste and do not want liquid waste in the active work face as well. Okay, what's liquid waste? Uh, so that would be from back trucks or oh, that type I see. of thing. Okay, yeah. okay. And, and, and a, a, a huge number of things can go to the landfill and then they get processed in various different ways. And Rick was kind enough to bring in an example here and we might as well start on this side and work our way across. And everybody has old paint from yes. the colors you don't use anymore or spray paint and these are okay to come. They are, all of these items can come to the landfill or six participating fire halls that uh, collect HHW. Okay, um, so HHW is? Household hazardous waste. Household hazardous waste. Okay, yes. so paint is one example of that. And what about like detergents and bleach and you know those types of things? Yeah, so these come to the landfill site as well or to the fire halls and these would be then uh, separated bulked and taken to Swan Hills for incineration. I see. Okay. And and you know what? We, we've just found out the other day that, you know what, bear spray can expire. Yes. And, but this has like a propellant in there. Is that okay to go to the landfill? It is. This can go to the landfill again. It is part of our household as this waste program. I see. And it will be again bulked and uh, properly disposed of. Okay. And I guess the propellant also similar to the uh, the spray paint. Yes. What about, what about, I mean, what do you have here? You have Lysol and you also have, I guess, old oil. We, what, what about those? So these these uh, household cleaners are part of the program as yeah. well, so they will be again uh, properly packaged and disposed of. Used oil is something that uh, we recycle uh, at our facilities and again is part of the HHW program. Okay. As well as these uh, helium tanks and propane tanks as well. Helium and propane is allowed, yeah, but it, it has to be, you have to say I have this and it has to be dealt with in a certain way, right? Correct. Okay. And all these items can come to the waste management facility at no charge from residents only. Okay. Now if I'm showing up and I have this stuff in my car, um, do I have to tell the person that I'm dealing with exactly what I have to make sure it goes to the right area? Yes. When you go to the scale house, uh, you'll speak to the scale operator who will be asking you several questions, including this, asking if you have free on products, what materials material types you have and then directing you to the appropriate area. I see. Okay. Now what if uh, everyone has like old uh, cell phones, old uh, devices, old computers, laptops, whatever. Yes. Well, how, how do we handle those? So electronics also can be brought to the landfill sites as well. Um, we have eligible electronics which includes all those items you mentioned and for a complete list you can look at the uh, website citycalgary.ca at mm -hmm. what goes where. Oh, wow. Okay. And what about bigger ticket things? Like what if I have like an old fridge or, or freezer or like right. even couches, you know what yes. I mean? Yes. So all appliances, refrigeration units, uh, air conditioning units, water coolers, they have Freon in them. Uh, they are separate. There is a sure charge for those materials to mm -hmm. come in, but we do accept those and process those as well. They can be dealt with. Yes. What about things like AA batteries or, you know, that everyone has lying around that are, you know, kind of no longer useful? So AA batteries, there's no program at this point uh, with the city of Calgary so those would be landfilled at I this see. point. Okay, so those go into the dirt and they yes. stay there. Okay, are there any batteries that can be recycled yet? Uh, car know? batteries ah, are the one okay. that we do recycle, yes. Okay, and, and if there's one thing that you, a message you want to get across to people mm -hmm. out there, what would it be uh, well, before they show up at the landfill, you know? I think before you... Uh, by all means, please bring these to the facility. Do not put them in your blue, black, green cart. Uh, we do not want these in the landfill site. We want these to be separate. Yeah, you don't want them in the dirt. You want yeah. them to be dealt with and not contaminating anything exactly. down the road. All right, Rick Anweiler, leader of landfill operations with the City of Calgary. Thank you so much for coming in. A lot to digest. <laughs> but again, online is a good resource to find out the do's and don'ts for Landfill yes. 101.